was it? I think it was last year in like June or something. Maybe it was a little earlier than that. And it was you put your Buick Skylark and Hot Wheels Legends Tour online. Yes, yes it did. Yes. And I actually, I was uh, one of the people that got selected online. I, re- I still remember, I have that video saved. Where it's like, dude, 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 it's Spoiler's car. <laughs> I love that video, dude. dude. It always, I, it always I, hypes me up. When I was live, I was like, where's Spoiler? Why isn't he up? I'm like, get and up, boy. Get up, get up. Get up. I'm calling you. I was like, what? what? Oh, shoot. <laughs> And welcome to the Squared Corner Podcast. I am your host, JC Squared, where I will be interviewing guests from the Hot Wheels community and beyond. Today, I have with me Mr. Muscle McMuscleson himself. Spoilers! How are you Hello. doing? <laughs> Can we get a flex? Can we get a flex since, since you're... <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. That, that's there all you're go. really going to get right now, go. though. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me, first off, why are you standing up? And jumping around. Uh, because I can't stand these hoes. No, wait, that's where I'm sitting down. Um, okay, so the real reason is because I'm kind of like still sitting. I, I just uh, moved back home because I just mm. graduated from college. And yep. I still don't have like a podcast kind of camera set up. So I actually have my full uh, two-point lighting film set up that I use for work. <laughs> and it oh, is, wow. For, yeah, no. So uh, that's why this quality looks all right. You know, I didn't have a full time to right. set everything up, but... You know, here we are. It's whatever. Hey, you know, it's whatever. We do what yeah. we have to do to get the content out there for the people. Yeah, exactly. For the people. <laughs> so actually, I want to ask first, what got you into content creation on YouTube in the first place? Like, when did you start? What, what triggered it? Okay, well, honestly, um, it actually had nothing to do with like a dream of being on YouTube. Uh, really, what it had to do with was I was I was a film student at the time. I just finished yeah. my freshman year. And I realized that there's a lot of people that are out there making films and stuff and they're way ahead of the curb. And I got to figure out how to do something that'll make me, um, you know, they'll force me to practice. So I started YouTube, uh, probably, I think it was, what was it back in 2019? I don't even know. I think. It's a while back. And I started back back there because I wanted to force myself to edit a video every single day to get the experience that I needed. And it actually really paid off. Now I'm working for, uh, um, local government. I'm doing some freelance stuff, and it's all because I decided to put in all that extra hours just making YouTube videos. Because mm, it forced me to mm. become a much better film. Yeah. Wow. No, that's good. That's that's kind of cool. Because that hasn't happened for me yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, do, you do good. You do good cinematic. YouTube hasn't done. We've, We've got seen your much. Dior 2 video. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> um, so what? what actually, you know... Speaking of podcasts, what made you want to do a podcast with my previous guest, Z Storm Games? Uh, well, that? that podcast didn't really go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> honestly, that was just a, a time where we wanted to just start, you know, putting ideas together. You know, throw stuff on the wall, see what stuck. Uh, mm-hmm. Ultimately, my viewership uh, really didn't. My viewership didn't make it worth the time, so eventually, yeah. I just kind of dropped it. So, but yeah. it was a lot of fun hanging out with Z Storm. I want to say. Uh, I want to say we did two episodes. One was the original. Uh, the other one was Ashley Bond, who actually here is doing really well for herself on YouTube. So kudos oh, to her. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I actually, I remember watching that. I was like, who is this? And <laughs> I don't know, but it's it was neat. It was neat. Uh, let's go. Let's continue. Uh, what video are you most proud of? Like, maybe let's do let's do proud of editing and then proud of viewership wise, or maybe. You know, that's a really hard one. That is a really hard one. Uh, editing wise, probably that I'm most proud of. Actually, it comes out today. Uh, some of you guys may have heard of it. Actually, this will be after, uh, it'll already be out by the time you guys see this, but, uh, it's a little video called built versus spot, which basically me and my friends set out in 30 degree weather with, uh, about 300, $400 of equipment. And, uh, we recorded a street racing film very, very illegally, but, uh, yeah, it's (laughs) coming. Yeah, no, there was, act- okay, we got so lucky. This cop showed up on the scene because people thought we were street racing. And of course, when we showed up, we were getting the shots of the cars right next to each other on the street. So we're, bu- we're completely blocking the road. And he just sees a muscle car and a Mercedes just right there. And we were somehow able to tell him the truth that, you know, 
<laughs> that we had it, um, <laughs> that we weren't actually street racing. We showed him the school assignment. He was very understanding. He just said, uh, just make sure you get out of the way for when people need, and this is like in stock yeah. days, so, uh, he probably wow. had like a shooting to attend to or something like that. <laughs> it's a pretty terrible <laughs> oh, city. Oh, jeez. It's a bad city. <laughs> yeesh, yeesh. Okay, let's talk about that then with the uh, upcoming fan film, um, or not fan film, sorry. I'm getting that confused with Vulcan. Uh, what what made you start that, by the way, to do the built versus bot? It actually started as an Accelerators passion project, which some of you might already have seen with the old Accelerators intro. Uh, yeah, I yeah. really I really loved that intro, but ultimately it felt like I was forcing the film to be something that, uh, it felt like a copy versus my yeah. own film. But, mm. you know, I shot it. I thought the community would love it, so I sent it out amongst you guys. But, mm. uh, yeah, no, it started off as an Accelerations fan film. I probably had the idea for a couple years, but I just had really no way to execute because I just didn't have the skill set. So I kind of kept grinding on YouTube. I kept uh, yeah. going to car shows, doing cinematics, and uh, I feel like it really paid off. It's Obviously, it's very cheesy. We learned, we leaned into the <laughs> 90s Fast and the Furious bit yeah. just a yeah. tad. But um, overall, I'm very proud of how it came out, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it too. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. And, uh, it's, in my throat. <laughs> it's, it's all right. That's all right. Um, you know, I, one of my, one of my favorite things actually about your filmmaking is your camera angles. Cause when, when it like comes to actually editing stuff together, I mean, your first one was the, um, what was it? The soul project. What, I, what was that called? Yes, that's that right. Uh, what sparks your soul? I completely forgot about that. Yeah, no, that was a... Uh... Stop forgetting about it, because it's really good. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. That was, like, my first uh, kind of short film. Just didn't have a plot. It was more like, what sparks your soul? But, uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's funny. That one actually got me my job with the government. Wow, that's cool. See, how do you forget a portfolio piece like that? Is I got a job with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that did a lot for me. That did a lot for me. No, yeah, because, I mean, like, even when you did... Um... Just your normal car shows. I'm, I think I remember watching it before you even did your films. You would have this style of like going in at a at a angle on it, but it didn't come across as um, what do you call it? Too much like with with a lot of films nowadays, they use a certain style too much. But it worked really well for the car shows and stuff to be shown in that way. And that's how I I liked the way that you did the. Um, those other two films that were, thank you, thank you, I appreciate <laughs> you know, it. actually, um, so I got that idea because if you actually look at my style, it's actually mm. very similar to Forza with their, uh, yeah, their dude, it stuff. is. That's, uh, okay. that's where a lot of my uh, inspiration comes from, especially when it comes to filming with cars. Uh, I've even applied it to okay. real estate, all that kind of stuff. Forza has been a huge inspiration as far as like my, my filmmaking goes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now that I say it, people are oh. going to realize, like, it's like, he's just doing, like, what Forza does. <laughs> you know, but it works, because, like, that's why we love Forza, though, is because the, the angles really show off the cars well, and it doesn't, you know, it, with me, like, when I tried doing um, a car show video before I had my cameraman, uh, who is uh, amazing, Shane Jacob, shout out to him, because he's literally the one that, like, makes the cool shots in my, my stuff. I just edit things together, and... Um, <laughs> before it was just so static i'd be like, like yeah, yeah cool car that's how you start that <laughs> i started out with a actually you probably is, uh, probably can see it in my old videos uh i didn't know any coloration i didn't know any lighting i didn't know anything like that i just went out with a 100 hundred dollar canon uh camcorder mm. so mm. uh it worked like for like the silverado cleaning video which is my first video but uh mm -hmm. Gosh, there was this one acceleration video I made where it's uh, Merry Christmas, eh? Where it starts like that. But, uh, dude, the lighting is so bad. It's so terrible. I cringe every time I look at it. And that's, like, literally my most famous video when it comes to, what? like... Well, mine is, like, the controversy uh, video with, like, a, I think it was an ad or something like that. A Volkswagen ad. But my oh. actual, like... Yeah. My actual made video, uh, yeah. that was easily, like, my biggest one. I want to say that one's up to... What is it? I don't know, maybe 50 or 60,000 views. That what? one Accelerations video, Accelerations makes no sense. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was, that was an interesting watch. <laughs> was an interesting Dude, the, I, 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 the cutaways were my favorite part of that. I want to start into that style again. I kind of miss doing cutaways. So, it, 
<laughs> what made you want to do the the makes no sense series for Hot Wheels? Uh, I was watching uh, Cinema Sins, and I was thinking like, what if it was like this, but like for cars and stuff like that. Uh, and I did it for uh, I want to say I did it for Speed Racer. I want to say I did Speed mm. Racer first, although I can't tell you for sure. But uh, eventually I did Hot Wheels World Race, and I'm like, oh, that got a little bit of traction. So I did Accelerators, yeah. and from there, my channel just kind of like blew up. <laughs> Everybody just started like subscribing, and that was kind of like yeah. the beginning of the pressure. Like, don't get me wrong, I love doing Accelerators and stuff, but it's never what I set out to do for this channel. Uh, yeah. And that, that that's actually part of the reason why. It sounds terrible, but part of the reason why I kind of like slowed down making videos is because... Uh, the Accelerators community really wants that content, but it's also not the yeah. content that I want to constantly make, you know? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It was a blessing no, and a I curse. Get that. So it's, it's, it's really like, you like the stuff, but you don't want to be specific on this stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, like, exactly. I'm, I'm different. Yeah, and that's yeah. why I kind of like always forced myself like, look, I don't mind making Accelerators videos. They're not going to be all I'm going to post. I'm posting everything else. Yeah. And it's, you know, it sucks a little bit when those other videos well, don't do as well. But you know, because ultimately... I actually, it's funny because I actually like some of your other videos with the the popcorn one. The popcorn one, I died. I was like, <laughs> that is so funny. I'm, I love popcorn. That's like my favorite snack. So my granny always makes fun of me because she'll, she'll be like, all right, Mr. Popcorn over here. So that's, that was a funny video. I like that. I'm and thinking like, of maybe doing more... bacon next. <laughs> see if I can cook it on my exhaust. Bacon. That's going to taste terrible. That's going to be so bad. What do you have? Applewood smoked bacon? I've got a Buick Skylark smoked <laughs> bacon, baby. Get on my level. <laughs> I just gotta make sure there's not gonna be a grease fire in the engine bay, so I might wait till I put side pipes on the Skylark. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> side pipes, side pipes, side pipes. Oh yeah, no, I got Sorry. a big plan for the Buick coming up. Dude, side pipes are my favorite. I remember this one time, this guy goes, Viper, does that have side pipes? Yes, yes it does. Well, actually, yeah. no. Kind of, it depends on the Viper. The Viper has more of a side exit. So the difference side between a side exits. pipe and a side exit, but side pipe, it runs all the way at bottom, like kind of no, like a 70s Corvette. I know it, you, no, but you remember what happened on stream that one time, right? Where I was just, you were like, does the Viper have side pipes and side exhaust? You were like, I thought it came out the back. That's right, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> that was a while back. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this man totally forgot. He's going into like extreme Dude, detail on the side pipes and stuff. And I'm over here like, the car, the car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what I had for breakfast, bro. My memory is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Oh my gosh! Yeah, the live streams were pretty fun, actually. I miss I miss those from yeah, dude. The community. Now that Hot Wheels is coming out on the uh, on the new Forza, we need to do it again. On Forza, dude. You know that I was I was about to say that gets me into Forza because I've been playing it recently, Forza Five, to get all the you know try to get leveled up before. Yeah. And um, what was it? Uh, ju -ju -ju -ju, trying to think, my brain. Oh, yeah. So I was like, okay, how can I make this as cheaply as possible and still get the same content out? Because my computer can't run the game. So <laughs> I found I found the xCloud, but I have to have Ultimate Game Pass to run xCloud on my PC. So I was like, ah, all right, that's what we'll do then. And <laughs> and I was like, okay, so this works and we're going to play this game now. And it was one of my biggest streams ever. I just hit play and everyone's like, oh, this is cool. JC's played Forza. I was like, oh, why? what are you doing here? Like, you guys would never show up for my streams until now. Oh, Forza. Oh, Forza's just that, that one, dude. I've actually seen a spike in viewership with the uh, old Hot Wheels video that we made together. Dude, well, you, you don't want to know. Do you know why? <laughs> I, prom I promoted it a bunch Did you recently. really? <laughs> I promoted it the day after because, um, uh, or the day after the announcement, I was like, "Hey guys, check out this last collab I did with spoilers on Hot Wheels and stuff for, for Forza Horizon Three. Get prepared for Forza Horizon Five or whatever." So that's <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm glad we that was me. good looking out, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> that was me. That was me. It's all good. Um, I gotta say, what is, um. Let me let me back up. Hmm, what was I thinking? Sorry, I'm, I'm a Wait. champion at throwing things off course. It's all right. It's all right. I've I've had to deal with this before. I've had podcasts that have gone for two hours before. I don't think we're gonna get that far though. That was. <laughs> You're aware. Uh, my camera has to reset every thirty minutes. We have thirteen minutes left on this one. It's just a click and resync. Okay. And then we have to do okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh. With 
Forza coming back, I want to say what's got to be your favorite part about Forza Horizon 5, you know? Uh, honestly, it's got to be the hype. You know, not like that, 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 not like the external hype like around the game, but I mean like uh, they make you feel so excited to be you in Forza. Mm. Like they're always like, oh, the boss is coming, blah, blah, that kind of thing. They give you kind of like yeah. a sense of power that other games kind of force you to work for. And working for it is fine. Mm. I actually really enjoy working for it, but there's just a good feeling, like especially when you've had a rough day, when you come home and you know you hear, uh, then you turn on your game and you hear people talking about you in hushed tones, like, whoa. He's coming, blah, 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 that kind of thing. And I think that that's one thing that Forza really nailed. And actually, I saw a game reviewer say that they hate that. They said, eh, it's too positive. Like, dude, how sad is your life that you, you, you feel you feel Yeah, wait a minute. When a game that's is praising sad, you, yeah. like, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> but yeah, no, they, no, it's just how much they hype you up. It's a good thing to yeah. come back to it after a while. No, I like that. It, and it was funny. I was making fun of the story as far as, like, the... The dialogue itself is very cringy. Story's really it's bad. It's sort of fun. But it's, it's fun. really cringy and bad. But I'm like, wait a minute. I wish my my professors would say, oh, yeah, go drive a Ferrari in the jungle. Yeah, that makes sense. It, it's super It's super bull what you go through in the game. But, man, it's fun. I, I can honestly say I don't think I've seen other racing games do that. It's a lot. Of, it's just yeah. fun. It's not trying to be anything. It's, not, it's yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the community of Forza? Because for us... It's like we're just hyped about Hot Wheels. For them, they're like, this is so stupid. I hate Hot Wheels. Why is it coming back? It's just recycle, recycle, recycle. I oh, mean, I don't know. I don't know too much about Forza community, but I feel like you'd have been there a little longer. Look, the thing is, I don't understand the idea of people um, crying over something that they don't need to buy. I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. what? If you're going to have like another DLC, it's going to be like, what? Very similar to the base game, like, oh, this one's got snow. It's it's stupid, honestly. Yeah. Uh, what I love about Forza is Horizon series is specifically for you to take new risks. Now, not sometimes those risks don't always stick. Like the Lego one is kind of that was a, that was a bit rough. But you know they, they have the Lego Countach. Yeah, know, yeah, it was really it's, cool. But the Hot Wheels. Cool. Oh shoot, is that it right there? It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm just saying that's that's pretty dope. I don't care. That's pretty dope. That's really sick. Yeah. As far as the, uh, oh, hang on. I got this one. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the Technic one. I forgot about that one, yeah. It's so cool. Dude, look. Suspension. Yeah, the suspension and the, the engine. I remember you, you yeah, did a video yeah. on that. So it has the engine and everything. That's crazy. Right, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I think uh, Hot Wheels is a great movie. It's not like they're doing it in Forza Motorsport, which is definitely the more serious game. If you want to play a serious game, Go play motorsport. That's got everything you want. It's got real life tracks. It's got all that stuff. But this horizon is about trying new things. And mm. honestly, there's no better way to shake up the game than going 300 miles an hour upside down through a dinosaur's mouth. Heck it forces yeah. you to. I remember uh, the first time I played Forza Hot Wheels and Forza Horizon 3. It completely threw me for a loop, both literally and metaphorically, because mm -hmm. um. All of a sudden, like, I realized, like, okay, so what I gotta do is I gotta, well, as soon as I hit the booster, uh, press the clutch, drop it all the way to sixth, and just take off from there. And it, it completely forced you to change how you play the game. And it, it was overall, it was just so much fun. And the DR2 is gonna be the new one, which I'm hyped about. I mean, that's all I care about. I've literally <laughs> been too. tweeting, like, Forza Horizon 5, like, official account. I'm like, hey, look, I was in the car. I was in the car. Can we, can we, like, come on. Come on, I know. Just, Dude, we, I just best want to get car. My car in <laughs> I'm, I'm excited for this one because Forza Horizon. It does. Oh, okay. I want it for Forza. I wonder if they have the Civic. I don't know if they do. I'm sure they, they have, have a, a Civic. They have so many thousand Civic or something. I don't know. I haven't. I, I haven't gotten far enough in the game. They have like 500 cars. I'm like, what? The yeah, heck? yeah. No, there's a lot. There's, there's, there's a there's lot. So many, and then. And then, of course, Twin Mill. Twin Mill being in the game is, like, inflated in price. So, right now, it's, like, 11 million credits. Oh, my God, really? You can't get, the, you can't get Twin Mill in the game Dude, unless you get it, it from like the wheel spin. Back when the game came out. And so, <laughs> so, so, one of my friends helped me on stream last night. He's like, hey, we're going to give you the Twin Mill. Where's what we're going to do? We're going to do the auction house. I'm going to buy it. I have, like, 50 million credits. All right? It's fine. So he bought it, and then he listed it for 100K, and I'm like, all right, I'll bang it real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating the system, but no. We cheat I, I, the system. <laughs> dude, I get it. Like, Twin Mill is inflated like ridiculous. I'm glad I got it, like, on launch and stuff like that. I immediately went over to the first thing I did 
after getting my car, was going straight to the auction house and just buying the cheapest twin mill I could find. And I'm glad mm. I did that. I did not know it was worth that much money. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's insanely, it's insane. Yeah, and of course, uh, <laughs> it's got the road beast livery on it. Livery, I don't know how to pronounce it. Of course, it. yeah. You know, it's great because I, I met the Forza Hot Wheels community now. Because it's been a while since they've had any content, I feel like. Oh, and absolutely, so, yeah. Like, the livery-making community has come out in full force in my channels and stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's wild. It's real wild. <laughs> like, they were just waiting and hiding or something. Like, they were there the entire time. And just like, all right, shoot their shot. Boom. <laughs> All right, let's 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 move on from Forza, because I feel like we were there for a bit. But, I love Forza so um, much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we probably could keep talking, but that I still that have that clip so... of um when I was just driving, and then you just out of nowhere just slammed down on top of me and spun me out and <laughs> won the race like a like a jerk. I'm still Dude, ticked off about that. Oh, you know exactly what that. I'm talking about, don't you? I I can't wait. Say it again. Say it again because it's hard to hear you. We both hit a jump in Horizon Hot Wheels. Yeah, I yeah, land yeah. first, and then you land on top of me and immediately spin me out. And then you win the race. Yes. It's so yes. garbage. It's so cool. No, it's amazing. I... That's called that's called being a Dior too or something. You know, it's it's just perfect. It's uh boosters, you know, it's like jump jacks, it's just how it works speed racer wise. Dude, I want a Mach 5 and Forza, that's all I want. <laughs> Dude, a Mach 5 would be amazing. Only problem is the only one I know of that has enough traction would be the Gotham Garage one, which is in Peterson Dude, Museum. The Gotham Garage one, a Peter Peterson Museum one uh mach 5 that's the only one i know that that they might have access to what i actually might have an idea and i'll, I'll say it here first but i was thinking you know the dream the dream ride series yeah i'm not gonna I do can. hot wheels one i think i've cracked a way to make a mach 5 Ooh, okay yeah okay yeah dream some custom body work but it's actually not nearly as hard as you would think compared I to mean, the like, other dream ride. I've seen a lot of Mach 5s, I mean, on, on Instagram and stuff. Not not necessarily in person. It came to Comic Palooza once down here, and I was gone that year, and I was pissed. I've I was never like, seen a Mach 5, yeah. I didn't get to see the Mach 5, and my cousin sat in one, and I was like, dang it! Yeah, I will say this one <laughs> will more, more like the uh, movie version, which, honestly, that's the one I prefer. I love the movie version. I like the movie version better. I know people are like, but the show... I'm like, but the yeah, no, the movie version is phenomenal. So, it it, it comes so across pretty. as realistic perfectly. The cartoon one, it's cool, but it's very cartoony. It's very, it's, it's proportions are a little whack. Yeah, they're a little it's, wild because it's a 60s the, anime. The proportions I mean, what are you on this expect? guy are a little whack. Yeah, it's, it's wild. This is about but, to break because uh, it's a model. Yeah, it probably will take like a month or so or a couple months to come out. But by the time this comes out, then I'll probably hopefully have it done. If, I mean, it might be. <laughs> I've been taking forever on these. I know people are probably like, "Where?" I haven't even released the first episode yet because I've been trying to get more episodes done in order to, you know, release them in like a seasonal way. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to end in a half season and then like, oh, now we're back with the next season or half season. You know, it's uh, uh, yeah. people are gonna be a little bit mad about that or like, <laughs> oh, you're holding on to information, Jay, and I'm like, I'm not holding on to information. Because that happened to uh, Reese, where he, f where his team found some research stuff, and it was really groundbreaking and everything. And he was like, "Hey, I just want to make a video real fast about this because it was our research team that found it." And then someone juked him and was like, "Oh, f you, f you for trying to keep this away from the community." I'm like, "It was literally going to be like an hour." <laughs> some fans are ridiculous, man. Like, uh, there's such a bunch of man children. Like, I love the Accelerator community, and predominantly, you guys are phenomenal. But there is. Some man children in there, some animal no, people that it, you're gonna honestly, find it with a community like any community, but it's just like, come on, guys, come on, just be a little nicer to the people that are actually finding the crap for you. I imagine those <laughs> are the people that just spam all my videos with, uh, do Dream Rides Reverb, do Dream Rides Reverb, do Dream Rides Reverb. Like, dude, Ooh. I don't know how, I think I have a way, but give me a minute. <laughs> Acura, uh, Acura, it's the, the concept car, just find that and then. Paint it, reverb, boom, done. It's cool, yeah, but I try to make these so that people can make them if they want <laughs> no, to. No, I know. I think that's <laughs> an impossibility. <laughs> so it's possible, but it's not really in, in reverb's yeah. case. It's a bit. It's a bit. Maybe more a Kuntash King cars. 
I, I can't tell you how many times, you know, that's the same with me with the jacket. JC, where's the jacket? Where's the Vert Wheeler jacket? I said, it's custom made. Please stop asking me. It was literally one of a kind. I got it luckily. It was made on a whim and I had perfect people to work on it. And those people don't work anymore. So I don't have anybody to work on jackets. <laughs> like, do you think I have Matt? Like, I am a, I am a 2,500 subscriber YouTuber. You think I have hey, the resources in order that. to... <laughs> Yeah, you think I have the resources though to make my own manufacturing company for uh just one jacket? Like I I can't do that. I'm sorry. I know cosplayers can like I don't sew. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. People that's a, that's one other thing issue I ran into. People uh for some reason think over like big hotshot YouTubers. We only have a few thousand subs a piece. And then of course they there's do, uh Reese they, and they do. Uh... <laughs> I was going to say they do though because I mean, when I meet these guys, they'll be like, bro, you're like my dream. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, you realize like, you get paid like $20 a month from YouTube. Right? <laughs> you know, I make, you know, I make negative money on this, right? Like this podcast right now, I've spent $90 producing it and I've made zip. I've made $0 making, you know, I, I don't make any money. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's just... exactly where the merch shop for you is so useful. If you guys like Accelerator stuff, exactly. go check out his merch shop. I buy, exactly. uh, I bought a couple things from him. They're it's, all good quality. It's, it's the merch shop and it's the members. The members on YouTube has been amazing. I never thought I'd get six members to join. Uh, I need to set so... that up. I, I, just, I just set up the thanks system, which I'm hopefully, you know, for Built versus Bot, for all the stress it caused, I'm hoping yeah, yeah, that yeah, 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 maybe yeah. somebody will donate a dollar. <laughs> no, no. You know, I have... I have good fans, at least. I've got one guy that just supports me, like, through thick and thin right now. I'm like, you're so amazing. Thank you so much. Like, you're, you're literally financially supporting this content because no one yeah, else no, will. That was you for a bit, dude. You for me. <laughs> yeah, you know. I, you're my only patron for a though. while. I, had I, to stop. I was like, I had to stop because I canceled all my Patreons because Vulcan told me, oh, by the way, I don't use Patreon. And this was before he did his fan film. So he stopped using Patreon. So the money I kept sending him wasn't even getting to him. <laughs> I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I mean, it's the same, I think, for me with Patreon. I have Nolo. Nolo's one of my patrons, Nolo AF. And I think, I can't remember if the money actually gets to me or not. Because it's like, it's really weird. Patreon's weird. I don't like Patreon. I like YouTube, though. Yeah, no. You know, YouTube, YouTube. I know is they good. take a more of a cut, but it's like sort of worth it. Yeah, no. Well, because you don't gotta do nothing; it goes straight to your account. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, sorry, we. I, I've once again spun us out of control. What's the next question? <laughs> sorry. Right. Look, this like look. I said these are like an hour long. It's only been thirty minutes. We're all right. What got you to do? Um, speak because we were talking about dream rides and the drive this series. What got you to do those? Uh, honestly, it's pretty simple. Sorry, my family's talking. Uh, it was pretty simple. I just wanted to say, like, hey, I wonder if I can make this car. Mm. And, uh, I eventually said, like, you know what, I'm gonna share this idea with the whole world. And it actually, I originally was gonna do one video where it was, um, I was originally gonna do one video where it was just a few different cars, but then I realized, mm. uh, how it could benefit me monetarily if I did it, <laughs> uh, each individual video. And it also allowed me to go into way deeper detail, which I'm sure people appreciate. I've had actually had a couple people be like, dude, the minute I get myself a 350Z, I'm going to do your power rage build. I'm like, oh, sweet, awesome. Okay. Don't worry, I'll, I'll distract him. Sorry, I was getting a... <laughs> what is... Turn. What, are you... what are you doing? <laughs> Suspension. <laughs> Family. <laughs> Family. <laughs> So with um, <laughs> oopsie daisies. <laughs> with with uh, you know, Accelerator's content um, and, and how that did it with the um, Dior two. I think you were like, JC, let's make a Dior two with the Ford Taurus wagon. I was like, that's that's interesting. I'm not doing that though. <laughs> like, if I get a Ford Taurus wagon, I'm not. I don't think I'd do that. I think the most, I think the easiest one would have to be twenty four seven. That's just think. a Mazda. Yeah. But that's the thing. But it's but it, actually it's not no, just no. A, everyone keeps telling me it's just a Mazda, but it's not. Like it's actually, it's cooler looking. The easiest one to do would be that one Dune Rats truck that is literally just an F one fifty. Oh, Mega Duty. No, Mega no, 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 no. I, I mean Toyota. the literal F one fifty. 
Oh, the literal F one fifty. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, hundred percent. I I always I am always like looking for a ninety seven F one fifty every now and then just to see, you know, just to, what's the price on these? Just dude, can you, know. you imagine how I would be so ticked off if I drive up to a thing? I'm like, sweet, I got this sick car. It's a souped up truck, and I see something like like slingshot and the Dior or two. I'm like, are you, are you kidding me? Are you, <laughs> this is all I got, and they got some crazy stuff like this, dude. His car's flying. Chuba, I, I drove Chuba's this to life. work. Seriously? <laughs> Jamaican Chuvo? Guess not. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, he got done in by his own team. Like, at least give me, like, a classic F100. <laughs> yeah, you know, I always thought that it would have been, like, probably, like, the Lightning. Maybe yeah. if it was, like, a F150 Lightning. And I saw it on Forza. Someone did the F150 from world race onto the lightning one and it looks looks pretty good like we we i think we i think we, we actually discovered that together on uh in the horizon 3 stream not stream the horizon 3 video like we figured so out which like oh no that was that mega game? duty that was mega duty never mind i was gonna say i think mega duty was the one that we did on, yeah. Uh, yeah 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 you're like right toyota tacoma or something i always thought it was a toyota mega duty but you know it could be a tacoma for sure i i think it was a tacoma it, it has a because it's a shorter Shorter body, I'm thinking of making but... a, a video of the easiest ones to make, and you better believe that F-150 is going to be number one. <laughs> because it's like, it's like okay, paint job, go get it done. <laughs> Buy car, get it job. done. Wheels. The look, Bike car, got garbage, put but engine do in it. Make it go 300 miles per hour, put some Bugatti Chiron. Do- <laughs> Dude, I can't even imagine the aerodynamics <laughs> of changes it. that would need to be made. <laughs> it's got death rattle at 300 miles an hour. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine the fear. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, right. uh, you know what? <laughs> speaking of, speaking of real life builds, let's go back to your car because Ooh, yes. let's go back to your car and and uh, specifically the day of um what was it? I think it was last year in like June or something. Maybe it was a little earlier than that. And it was you put your Buick Skylark and Hot Wheels Legends Tour online. Yes, yes, it did. Yes. And I actually, I was uh, one of the people that got selected online. I, remember, I still remember, I have that video saved. We are just like, dude, 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 it's spoiler scar. <laughs> I love that video, dude. dude. It always, I, it always I, hypes me up. When I was live, I was like, we're spoilers. Why isn't he up? I'm like, get up, boy. Get up. Get up. Like, get up. I'm calling you. I'm just like, what? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm like, you weren't even ready for the tour. I'm like, come on. You were supposed to be awake and ready to go. I, and I, I, I don't even me. remember what time it was at. It was like at like 10 for me. So it would have been 8 for you. So it was still it was like early. It was Saturday. Was like, so I was out just <laughs> probably getting hammered. So I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get on stream and you're like, oh, huh? what's, what's, what's going on? I said, bro, your car got in. And you're like, oh, that's cool. And then when your car came up, you muted yourself. <laughs> And I'm like, spoilers, what do you think? What's going on? And you're like, afterwards, you're like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm muted myself. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, your car just got judged by the Stig. What are you talking about? I was like, bro, really? <laughs> Dude, I totally sent that in as a joke. I, because it's not like custom at all, I didn't expect anybody to even look at it. <laughs> I was like, but whoa, this is working out. Fact, I just can't believe the fact that the Stig was on. And you were like, wait, that's the Stig? Because cause obviously his identity, he doesn't go by Stig anymore. I've only ever seen him in know. the helmet. For all I knew, that's he was true. a Martian. No, that's, that's true, but he wrote a book on it and stuff about how he I don't was read Stig you know that. You know, whatever. You, you know, she probably should read. But, you know, it's fine. Because, you know, it, I just think it was funny that, like, some some icon from, you know, the childhood and stuff with yeah. Top Gear. It was cool. Top it was really, Gear it was bizarre, is just looking man. at your car like... Yeah, this is a cool car. Yeah, I like classic American muscle and stuff. And I was like, what? <laughs> Where did this Dude, come I, from? I really wish I could have brought it to the one that's going to be in July. But uh, even though I can afford the whole engine right now, I don't want to empty my bank account completely because I'm planning to move out soon and that kind of stuff. But uh, definitely yeah. next year it'll most likely be ready. I bought the, I think it, I just recently bought the, I bought the forged uh, internals and I bought the heads. Mm. And I need okay. to get the block machined and stuff. Twin gotcha, turbo big gotcha. block. And yes, I'm going to add nitrous. And paint this, my tanks this... to look like nitrox too. <laughs> Is the, and use the sticker on uh, JC Squared 
uh, I mean, uh, uh, Jason Liam at 103.rebel.com. You can buy the stickers, Nitrox, too. Uh, Absolutely. That's exactly what I was going to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know someone that did, that was going to do it, and then they were like, no, I can't do it anymore. I just can't afford a nit- nitrous bottle. <laughs> yeah. I can't afford it. It's just I know I'm going to want to put it on immediately, and I will literally blow my 50-year-old engine in there. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, we're yeah, looking we, at a 1,000 horsepower, well, possibly. I was going to say, speaking of this event, though, are you going to be there just to be there, not not to submit your car or anything? I honestly don't know yet. Uh, I'd be going with my family. This is not something that I'd want to just roll solo because they've been wanting to go down to, uh, near LA and that kind of stuff. It's an LCD, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, my mom seemed pretty excited about it, and it's almost, it's actually her birthday weekend. Hey! That's birthday. That's birthday. Do it, yeah. do it, do it. Do so do we'll do see it, if it. she wants to because she's, lo- she's always loved like Hot Wheels and stuff like that. Yeah. She's one of those moms that really like, uh, she like, when you're interested in something, she's super interested in it. I remember one time when I was in the airsoft, I was like, um, I was like, I'm thinking of this gun. She says, what pounds, what's the pound per square inch? Blah, blah, blah. What's the, uh, what's the <laughs> BB weight? I'm and that's like, more than I know. Like, I don't know that much. She was like, that kind of uh, power, you should probably use 25s. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> she just delves that's head cool. deep into it. Actually. Uh, that's another short film that uh, I just worked on with my friend. Uh, it was his idea, mm-hmm. his baby. My mom actually plays a really creepy innkeeper, and eventually that'll come out on spoilers. I know it's car related, but I think you guys will like it. It'll probably come I, out. I I did see a post about it. I saw a post on your Instagram. I think of yes, like, yes, I did. Follow both of us. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yeah, uh, no, my mom killed that role, dude. I, I was not ready for her to be good at <laughs> acting. <laughs> said i'm doing it i'm doing it for my son we're getting it done the fun thing too was uh my mom actually had to sacrifice me on that shoot (laughs) there's a scene where yeah no it's funny because she's a very she's a very catholic woman and (laughs) i was about to say (laughs) she's holding a dagger above her head and uh she She basically stabs me with it and carves my stomach open (laughs) what's funny is it's like i can imagine like okay I've seen this in the Bible. It was uh, it was Abraham about to sacrifice Isaac. With Except this kid, in yeah. this case, we're gonna have to actually do it. <laughs> Dude, it was so gross. We put a tr- we cut my shirt open. We put a trash bag there. Just dumped a bunch of uh, fake yeah. blood and tripe. We used actual mm. meat for this because we couldn't afford like props and stuff. It was so gross, but it was worth it. It looks great. <laughs> That's, but it was worth it for the shot. It's for the shot. It looks phenomenal. I think when it eventually does come out, you guys are gonna love it. it is, I just gotta uh, cut a trailer for it first. Although I have to say I'm not a horror person, so I probably won't watch it myself. It's fine. <laughs> I don't I don't do horror, man. I'm like, if I see a horror film, I'm like, I'm out. Thanks. That, yeah. Thank it's you, not world. That scary. Going it's more to heaven a... now. It's done. <laughs> I don't want... That was actually really fun. Anyways, it'll come out eventually. I'm not giving due dates anymore. <laughs> I'm not giving due dates. I feel that. I feel that. When is when is this podcast releasing, JC? It's a good good question. Sometime. <laughs> Sometimes the time. Point, at some point, it will release. Because you know, I I I, I was gonna say, uh, I am thinking about trying to go to July thirtieth. I just need a plane ticket. It's like I got someone to stay with up there, but like I just I would love to go. Yeah, uh, no, dude, it'd be super cool to link up with you too. I know. It's like then we could actually meet in person at like subs cool would freak event. out, <laughs> and then I'll be like, hey, because that means I'd have met Big Man and I'd had met you. Yeah. And Z Storm would be I think the other one. And then Accelerace, but he, everyone's all across the country, bro. We yeah. literally have it. it. It's kind of funny. I'm in Dude, the we south. Gotta do like a full you're in the west. Up sometime. I was gonna say, you're in the west coast. I'm on the south. Accelerace is in the east coast. Uh no, no. Sorry, Storm Garage is, is in the, the rust north. Belt, I wanna say. He's like northwest. <laughs> and then yeah. Big Man is in the Midwest, which is or mid east, I should say, because I think he's in Kentucky. So it's just like we're literally anywhere on the map. Well, away you know from what? Each we'll other. do like a big, we'll do like a big mega meetup sometime. That'll be fun. I want to so bad. It's just like my day because I'm still in school. Do, yeah, yeah, I'm still in school. Are you still in school? By the way, I actually just graduated a couple weeks ago. You graduate. Everyone's graduating. Everyone's graduate. I didn't graduate. Can I graduate now? I'm done. Can I graduate? I just, I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've got my bachelor's in film and my minor in advertising. So that I'm making awesome. commercials. Now. Yeah, that's cool, though. Sweet. Yeah, because you actually have a job. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Unlike me, I don't have a job. I'm just I'm just over here doing stuff. Uh, trying to make it's good enough, dude. It took me forever to fun, this one. Yeah, yeah. 
uh i guess let's let's go into a uh let me let me look at some of my questions what do i have oh yeah what you know i never asked this when did you first get introduced into hot wheels you know just like as a kid what uh, hot wheels and then accelerators you know like i don't even know dude i i'd literally been part just... of like hot wheels forever i don't even remember the first time i started i always remember my first favorite car though uh f it was a mm. f-150 a 97 f-150 and it was the orange one with the yellow and black flames and i called it flame truck that was my first favorite hot wheel and then ah. uh that was like when i was like two mm. and then uh then and i i don't know i don't even know how i heard of it i'm pretty sure maybe my mom did some research something like that then I realized there was a Hot Wheels movie, and then mm. uh, the Diora 2 has been my favorite car for the last 20 years. <laughs> yep, same. It's about, it's yeah. about right. And then, of course, about... Accelerators <laughs> followed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, what's funny is, like, I have a I have a favorite car, which is Diora 2, and then I have a favorite car, which is the Viper. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's why that's a... I am, too. Dude, my dream car is a Shelby Cobra. I will eventually get oh, that one day. Oh, yeah, dude. You know, it's funny. My mom, my mom sat in one, at, at in in uh, Texas. She went on vacation with with my sister, and they're like, "Hey, Justin, just sitting in a Cobra." I was like, "That is sick." <laughs> yeah, that's thanks for sending that to me. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. <laughs> and then I guess let's go into let's get these uh, little questions off. Um, oh no! Wait, I already did answer these. We got a lot of these, dude. <laughs> we're, I know. we're hammering well, these. Well, I mean, like, I, I sort we sort of just we sort of just kept going, and then you know that's just how podcasts sometimes are. Yeah, no, exactly. It's that's not how you meant know to be Bible strictly. I'd hate it if this was a strictly like um, interview podcast because I love like you know like a conversation, like even Especially with we've been friends for a long time. That'd be weird. <laughs> I know it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. How are you doing, sir, today? What is? What I'm doing very good, JC. How are you doing this wonderful day? <laughs> I just realized my uh my uh uh what's it called my uh professional voice is just Dave Chappelle's white people voice. <laughs> um, it's very good to see you, Johnson. It is wonderful. <laughs> I have to spit on my water. No. <laughs> it was not it. <laughs> I'm about to get all of my equipment messed up here. <laughs> Uh, what what do you see yourself doing with the channel in the future? Actually, let's let's do that one. I know you've been talking about like the two two videos a month, maybe or even less than that, and just doing more specific. Yeah. So what uh, what is your? I feel like uh, the videos are definitely they're gonna remain slow for a while, unless like of course YouTube were to become uh, profitable time wise. Because now uh, now that I'm working, uh, I value my time a lot differently. Yeah. You know yeah I mean, yeah. like obviously. I don't. I won't have much time on YouTube when I got bills to pay and all that kind of stuff. I need to focus on that. But um, I do want to put out videos every now and then. I think I'm probably gonna do one big car video a month and one big uh and one big like kind of like entertainment video. And then I'm gonna splash a short film here or there. Like maybe okay. this thing will be like putting together my engine, and this one will be uh this one will be uh, how much bacon can I put on my exhaust before the car sets on fire? This is that kind of stuff. <laughs> Very chaotic stuff. Right. Like, like, like some of those other videos I've seen that I wish they'd get more views. I'm like, guys, you literally are like, I want more accelerators, YouTubers, and then you don't watch them. Or like, you just don't support anyone. I'm like, like, what do you expect <laughs> from people? They're, they're going to yeah. fall away. But so, anyways, I'm kind of going, I'm going back to my roots where, yeah. Uh, I got I went on a funk where I was kind of like I gotta put out accelerations. That's what's selling. That's what's selling. That kind of thing. But uh, I'm kind of going back to my roots. I'm just posting whatever I want, man. Yeah. Like man. if I post yeah. an accelerations video, I'll post one if I want to. That kind of thing. But ultimately, this video, this YouTube thing, is to keep me sane because I'm doing all this like uh, professional grade work, and this is just you know I can just chill. I can do yeah. some. I can. The YouTube allows me to try out new shots I want to try. All that kind of stuff. It's it's yeah. it's meant to grow. It's, it's meant for me to grow. It's your experimental playground. Yes, really. exactly. It's nice. It's it's funny because it, I think it was the opposite for me when I started. I didn't really know what I wanted to be because I was just sort of just doing it because I was like, ah, you know what? I want to promo some of my merch out there, and right, maybe yeah. people will like it. And that way, you know, it's just like a nice thing. I can make some videos, promo the Verge, and then make some then money. You really there. kicked up. <laughs> and then and then, well, you know, it's funny because I was gonna say I had the. Um, what was it? I had that whole 
mock e thing that yeah. I, like like i started trying to do videos like you guys did and then i just realized i don't think i really did i didn't really i'm not a car person as much as yeah, i am exactly. although mock e still pisses me off i'm not a car person as much as like a hot wheels person like i'm really yeah, just no, i feel that. that's fine that's what you want to do don't, and it's funny because people in the Forza community, they're like, oh, yeah, you want to put this amount of horsepower? I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, I just <laughs> think car look cool, car go fast. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's the, that goes back to the old saying, opinions are like buttholes. Everybody got one. So uh, ultimately, I, I don't understand why people want like crazy, like high, like horsepower and stuff like that. I want that for my Buick. I actually, with this build, I'm expecting to be in the four digit range, hopefully. Ooh. Yeah, no, it cool. won't be streetable at all, I'm sure. But, um... High horsepower is fun, but I feel like it's one of those things that once you like have it, you're like, this is incredibly scary to drive. I, <laughs> I just want 400 to 500. <laughs> but yeah, just don't listen to them. Make the videos that you want to make. That's what's important. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's important for creators, like trying to figure out their mojo um, for up and coming guys. You know, if you like accelerators, then make the accelerator stuff. But if you don't, don't feel like you have to always keep doing accelerators content. Exactly. Yeah. Unless your bills depend on it, don't follow the money for YouTube. Yeah, because uh, honestly, for me, like, it's just passion. I haven't done... <laughs> yeah, I don't make money from this. I don't make money from school. I just make money from my job, which I get no money for because, you know, inflation. But Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, man, that got a, real. <laughs> gas tank, baby. I, I, I literally I make three gas tanks a week. I've been... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I make three gas tanks a week, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking. That's how you think about money management. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, let's let's go to a speed round. Um, all right, all right. Favorite character from Acceleracers, favorite car from Acceleracers, and favorite just Hot Wheels diecast doesn't have to be Acceleracers. Okay, favorite uh, character from Acceleracers is gotta be. I'll always love Vert Wheeler the most from World Race, but Acceleracers, No Lip Sorrow. I loved, uh, he was a very complex character, and I loved that uh, as a Hispanic man, uh, there was like a little bit of like representation. Mm. Uh, and I'll actually come back to that in a second. Uh, favorite okay. car? Uh, favorite car, obviously the Dior 2, but besides the Dior 2, I'm going to have to go with Hollowback. I love my American well, I muscle. I, I felt like it was going to be Hollowback. I did. Yeah, I, did. I, I love muscle cars. I had a cars, feeling. Man. I had a feeling. And uh, favorite die cast in general? Uh, I'm gonna ignore the Dior two for this one because that obviously is my favorite. Yeah, that would be it. Would be I. I feel like it has to be something like you know it's second place. It has to be second place. Everyone's first is gonna be Dior two, but yeah, I exactly. can say it because I'm Vert Wheeler. So ha 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 ha. Okay, yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> uh, favorite diecast has got to be. Man, that's a hard one. I like the gimmicky ones. The gimmicky ones are really fun, but yeah, I a guess. Lot of them are. That's really hard. I'm trying to think of one that's not Acceleracers, but I just love Acceleracers so much. Ooh, I gotta say, them. my other favorite die cast <laughs> has got to be uh, Power Rage. It's very simple, but it's very sporty. It feels exactly like... It's the exact yeah, yeah. thing what a tuner yeah, means. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah. we're running Eric's out of time. I only got six minutes and 40 seconds. I'm just double Perfect. down on that uh, Acceleracers thing. Uh, side note, Acceleracers is the only kid show I've ever seen that does diversity properly. Because they mm -hmm. don't make the whole person like, oh, look, this guy's a Hispanic character. He's this, blah, 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 blah. No, yeah. he does this. No, you're totally right, though. You're, yeah, no, no. you're right. Oh, my gosh. Because here's the thing. I'm not a big fan of all of this new diversity stuff. I just like the old school stuff that, you know, you can have everybody in it and just, you know, everyone's in it. They just are. <laughs> yeah, they, they just, just are there are. because they are there. That's, that's the whole point. Like, you don't have to keep pushing a button saying, yeah, this person's. This person's this. Like this saying, person's this. The, this. that's what I like about Nolo. He's not a Hispanic character. He's a character that happens to be Hispanic. You got to put the that's actual good. character first. Yeah, and that's that's. I and, think. and he's an amazing character. People love him. He, he's yeah. one of the best characters out there. And and like even when so I complex. was talking, like I said with Jeff in the previous podcast, um, we talked about you know the importance of Kadim and stuff. Like right, you yeah. can put these characters in it, and you don't have to point out that, you know, they are different. Like, they yeah. just they just are there. And Wasn't that's, that why Kadeem was put in the first place? He didn't want... It was, like, right after 9-11. And he yeah, want, specifically no, didn't right. want yeah, kids to be right. fearing of Muslim people in general. And that's yeah, actually yeah. very right. good forward thinking on his part. Because Kadeem is, like, so many people's favorite. He's my dad's favorite. Kadeem is amazing. I love him. Kadeem was one of my favorites but, as well. I mean, yeah, it, it's got to be Vert, Kadeem, 
and then like the rest of them. Like Taro is probably maybe Taro might be last just because he's I almost like Taro too because cool he's school. not afraid to just be. He's a one trick pony. He's exactly what uh, <laughs> we all want him to be. I was gonna say Taro. Taro doesn't really change that much. Like he no. he stays because about the perfect. same the entire time, <laughs> which is great. I love it. I, I I love Taro. But I'd say if if I had a third place, it'd probably be Kurt Wilde, just because like Kurt Benji. Wilde is so dynamic. So dynamic. Yeah. Kurt Wilde is, is an amazingly dynamic character and it's an amazing foil for Vert Wheeler. Absolutely. So, yeah. I, I, I just love I love these characters and I just wish if they do somehow come back, I'm like, all right, you know, we need we need to call the right people so that we don't have this like modern day showmaking because it's I'll sucks. make a live action. You give me the card. <laughs> I'll I'll call them up. <laughs> I got the I got the costume, man. I got it. <laughs> hey, just do, hey you know it's funny we could we could do it in forza we'll just i'll, I'll we'll photoshop me in into they'll the car actually add a roadrunner god dude roadrunner would be amazing in the game i'm just like all right i'm gonna so get one of those one day what what's interesting is forza has hinted that it's totally inspired by highway 35 because you look at the track it's oh, yeah. the new one for Forza very... Horizon 5. It's got everything from World Race. That yeah, no. Well, Hot would... Wheels World Race and Accelerators has been uh, getting a lot of attention recently from the big guys. Tons. Tons. I don't want to get and, anyone and... hyped, but if it was going to happen, it's going to happen now. <laughs> you know, maybe for the 20th anniversary. I don't know. I hope so for, yeah. for 20th anniversary or something. I know they. I've talked to them before and they said they have nothing planned, but hey, maybe with this content and stuff kicking off, we'll get somewhere. All I'm really right. excited um, to see. I'm like I'm glad the fan community is keeping it alive. I'm really excited to see Vulcan's uh, short film when it eventually comes oh, out. Oh, dude, that's gonna yes. be awesome. I think I think he keeps saying that it's not gonna do well. I'm like, bro, I think it's gonna do freaking amazing. You realize like, I think how it... thirsty the Accelerators community is for content. <laughs> it's gonna do phenomenally. It's gonna do so good. And what's what's amazing is I I now have like subtitlers and stuff that do that help me for my videos. And I'm like, look, we have people that will subtitle this for free for for this stuff. I know I wouldn't I wouldn't do it for free though. If my, I was I use Adobe uh, Premiere and they actually have a subtitle software. It's actually really good. Mm. So maybe if you need any help yeah. subtitling, uh, just let me know. I'll get that for you I, in like twenty minutes. The, the number one one is Portuguese. Portuguese is the number one like need. Yeah, Portuguese. a lot of Portuguese people love because, accelerators. Because, that, I've noticed that in my well, analytics. Like Portugal, right Portuguese after the USA, Brazilian. Portugal's like my highest second viewing uh, view rate. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brazil, like all of the, just like, and it's because of the dubs. Because Dude, we Hispanics love Hot Wheels. I don't know what dubs. to tell you. They, they didn't like half dub the uh, accelerators movies, which is weird because like that seems what like you like the only dub that doesn't exist is japanese which is hilarious yeah i know <laughs> like they That's have weird. almost every other language including french and not japanese i was like i want a japanese one please because i want to listen to it because it would sound so cool yeah uh it, let you know i really i really hate doing this but my memory card is two minutes left that's all right that i was just about to end all right so with that said and everything i want to thank you for coming on spoilers this was a wonderful amazing being chat here. and um you know, <laughs> we became bros just like off a of random, I guess, on YouTube. But yeah, it, it, <laughs> <laughs> it was after uh, Accelerations went, makes no sense. And it was, yeah, I, didn't, I just, it was awesome. Yeah. And I just want to say, you know, if you have any last thoughts, where can people find you? Uh, I'm actually pretty active on Instagram and stuff. I actually post a lot about new builds that I'm planning out. I actually have bought myself a new Buick, a 55 Roadmaster that I'm planning to do a gasser build. I just haven't unveiled it on YouTube yet. So uh, if you guys want to reach out to me, Instagram's the way to go. You can find it linked under every any one of my videos. Yep, yep. And I'll link it down below as well. As for me, you can find me. I am JC Squared. I'm pretty much on freaking everything. All you have to do is search J-A-Y-C-E-E -E space squared on any platform, including Google search now. Because that's how <laughs> relevant I am in the community. And I want to give a huge special thanks to all my members of that support this. I have Al Morn, Road of the Dragon Lord, uh, Ratchet RPG 01. Thank you so much. Z Storm VR, you're amazing. I know that we also did a podcast together. <laughs> and uh, who else do I have? Oh my gosh, I have so many. Nolo AF, and um, I'm missing one. Oh no, I'm missing one. Who is it? Who is it? Oh no. Um, how much time do you have on your on your battery? Thirty eight seconds. 38 seconds. Oh my God, can I do it? Time's on the clock, JC. 
figure can it I out. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh my god, can it show it to me already? YouTube, you are the slowest thing. This on is a Earth. threat. This is a threat. All right. Um, 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 17 Al seconds. Seg. Al Seg, thank you so much. All right, this is bye. Amen. Bye, guys. Right. Bye. See you guys. Adios. <laughs> This has been the Squared Corner Podcast. Music composed by Steve Rockett. Video and audio recording by Riverside.fm. Video and audio editing by JC Squared. Logo art by Miguel Martinez. And lastly, supported by you, the viewer. Thank you.